Let me go quickly to the busy phone here. Michael, uh, first time out of uh, Tennessee. Michael, welcome to the show. You're on the air. How you doing, Jesse? I got a quick question. Okay. Um, so if someone start a conflict with you, you, you can tell that they're trying to make themselves your enemy and you end up falling into that and like going along and judging that person. When you realize that's what you're doing, do you have to go to them and like forgive like what you do your parents or can you just realize it and let that be that and keep moving Yeah, on? you can just see that you're judging them. And seeing it, it would change by itself. You don't need to go to them. All right. Yeah, I was thinking the same. I was thinking the same thing. But, you know, the thought, the thoughts kind of had me, like, because I, I, when, when I thought of that, I'm thinking, like, I don't need to do all that. But, you know, the thoughts like, oh, that's just your pride. But I know that's his thoughts. Right. But I want to make sure with you. Yeah, no, you don't need to do it. You want to see. And once you see what's going on inside of you, seeing it, which is the light of God, will destroy the imagination, the thoughts, because the thoughts are just lying to you. They are evil. Yeah. Have you forgiven uh, your mother? Yeah, I have. You went to her? Yeah. How did it go? It, when I did it, she didn't, um, she didn't say anything. She was just looking at me, but it, it went good, though. I, you know, it was nice. for me. Yeah. And I'm able to speak up to her. Now, we really don't talk much now, but I, I'm able to, you know, just, be me with her and my dad. Right on. And so prior to forgiving her, were you able you were not were you able to be yourself around her with her beforehand or no? I thought I was myself, but I was never I was I guess I was always like hurt like a child state with her. Like yes. you know, I was never like a but now I'm I, I talk to her like a grown like I talk to anybody else really is I really don't have that fear with her or my dad anymore. I used to have it with both of them, but now I'm, I can easily just tell them what's up. You make me and a, my dad still. Go ahead. You and your father what? Me and my dad still. We we still good though. We talk kind of regularly. Right on. And it ain't nothing like no problems with me and my mom. It's just like we just don't talk as much now that that happened. Yeah, you don't need mama in the way you thought you needed her when you're in the fallen state. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you make a point in that now that you've forgiven your parents and you have no fear or anger with them, you're not going to fear anyone else in the world. And no matter what they say about you, how they turn on you, whatever happened, you're, never, you're not going to have any fear at all. You'll be free. And, and with this, yeah, I, and I feel that. And with this... um. This person, like, they, I don't know, I, I can tell I kind of really got into my thoughts about it because I was just like, man, this, like, they would be, try to be, I can just tell they was just like, I don't know, it was just weird to me. And I was just like, yeah, this dude, bitch, like, he just weird. Like, he just, he just acting weird. And I'm the B word and the cuss word, right? <laughs> Not in my eyesight. I, I've never known that the word, the bitch, the word bitch would consider a cuss word. And you, growing up in the good old day, it only meant a female dog. And, so, right, and, yeah. and, and when a woman was acting out, it was understood by women and men that that woman was acting like a mad female dog. Yeah. And I could just see that I was wrong. Like, in my mind, every time I go to go to work, I would just be like, man, this is, but I could just see, like, man, I, I shouldn't be doing that, you know? Because it was making me feel like I just feel like I was on his level now, like doing that. When you were judging him? Yeah. Absolutely. You Because what human beings don't know, and it's so crazy they don't know it, but I understand it, is that when you judge others, you're really judging yourself. The fire that is burning is burning inside of you because anyone that's judged is burning. And that's why you felt like you were on his level because you, it was happening to you. You were destroying yourself, thinking that you were judging him, but it was really happening to you. Yeah, that that do make sense now, because it, it it brought on it brought on conflict in myself, and really what he was trying to do, <laughs> like 
he would be being like weird and it didn't really bring on conflict at first until I like played into it and that's when the conflict kind of came into me Absolutely. and it's weird because he could do what he want to do and like there's no conflict there even though he's trying to make it like that but it's like when I fell into it that's when the conflict kind of came That's it was interesting to see that like conflict really don't exist until you kind of play into it absolutely man amazing this is why I've been trying to I have been trying to encourage people to know themselves because what human beings don't know and I realize that now is that every problem that they have is in them it's not outside of them it's inside of them but because they're blind and can't see they think it's outside and they think someone else is doing it but but the it's really inside of them. And there are evil people who will try to bring problem up on you because they are miserable and they want you in hell with them so they can feel a false sense of life. But it's all inside of you. And that it's good that you see that and just keep eyes on you. Watch those thoughts. Don't call them you. It's only going to get better. It'll become clearer and clearer and clearer. I appreciate it, Jesse. And I, I start... um. I start HVAC. I go to. I'm about to start school for HVAC on December 9th. Right on. And I'm just kind of now just really. I've been. I mean, I I'm doing good now, but I'm just getting everything together. And I I appreciate you. I've been listening, in since I say 2019, 2020, something like that. You really, you help me help me a lot. Like for life, everything is just like peaceful, and I just go through things now. I still. You know, like go through things like this situation here, but I, I, I can see that is I'm on the right kind of track, kind of. Absolutely, and I want you to know, and if you stay with this, and you will know this for sure. I promise you. I like promise you this. You're gonna see that everything it seems like you're going through is not you. It's not happening to you. It's only in the mind. It's not even happening to you at all. It's just that you have been so associated, one, with the imagination. You thought it was you. And so those thoughts and emotion felt like you. The anger felt like you or the fear felt like you or the happiness felt like you. But you're going to see that it was never you. It's going to be amazing. So stay with it, all right? All right. And congratulations on your new training job. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. All right. How old are you? 27. Right on. Stay with it, Michael. Stay with it. Stay with it. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. All right. Talk All right. to you later. Okay. See, now you can wake up if you want to, folks, and your enemy will surround you. Your family member will turn on you. Your own mama will build an army against you. Your so-called friends, your wife, your husband will build an army, will turn on you. Your enemy will surround you, and yet you will remain untouched. That is so deep and so true, I can hardly stand it. I didn't know that. And since if you don't believe me, get to know you. Really get to pay attention to what's happening inside of you. Or you can watch Donald Trump. Or... You can read the history of Jesus. Same thing. Same thing. The same state that Jesus was in and is in, you could be in it too, right here on earth. 